Hey guys, welcome to Technability. I am Berge. We are your source for no-nonsense tech. What we got over here is an HTC One running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with Sense 5.5. Right, you can see that right there. If it gets a little blurry. I'm sorry guys. Bear with me here. Sense 5.5 with 4.4.2. Alright, so I haven't done a 4.4.2 review on the HTC One. Uh, KitKat has been available via custom ROM and OTA update here for the HTC One for quite a while now, or not quite a while, but for a little time. And I wanted to go ahead and actually do a review of it. Just go ahead and go through some of the new features. If you have uh, utilized 4.3 with Sense 5.5, then you're likely aware of these features. You can see if I click on highlights now on Blink Feed, you get that tab right there. Again, very similar to what you get with 4.3 with Sense 5.5. You also have the ability to now ability now to add. Um, let me go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi here real quick. All right, you can see now that you have the ability to add custom topics and services to uh, Blink Feed. And again, this has been available with 4.3. Sense 5.5, you can see right there, custom topics. Tap on the search icon to set up custom topics. So if I just click on the search icon, for example, and I type in, I don't know, technability, because why not, right? We are your source for no nonsense tech. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Technability. If I could type it out here using one hand. All right, so it says searching. There you go. Technability, techability, tech bling, da, da 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 da. It'll find it. I spelled it wrong. Techability, but you get the idea. You can add custom topics, and now the great thing is, is that you can remove Blink Feed altogether. You can see right there. There's a little thing that says Blink Feed on, Blink Feed off. Of course, you still have all of those widgets. You also get this Amazon widget here. This is the uh, Verizon model HTC One. Uh, if you long press on the home screen, of course, you get your widgets tab again with the uh, set as home. You can also turn Blink Feed back on by just doing that. All right, and everything else is basically the same. If you've used 4.2 or even 4. Point, or excuse me, 4.3 or even 4.2 with Sense, then you know all of these features uh, like the back of your hand, or at least you should. I'm a big fan of the HTC One. We named it the 2013 phone of the year. Got a lot of flack for that, which is fine. Not everyone's gonna agree. You can see their WebKit browser here. Beautiful phone, right? We definitely love the HTC One's build. It's got a gorgeous build. It's a beautiful phone, feels good in the hand. It's unique, and that's what we like about it. You can see the browser perfectly loads, renders perfectly fine. Scrolling is as smooth as butter. Pinch zoom, smooth as butter. You got the tabs. You have incognito tab. You also have reader mode, which we're fans of. Close out, just like that. And you can see in terms of speed, it's super fast. Uh, this thing loads everything with with a quickness. You can see dialer. There you get your dialer. Uh, you get your text messages and the keyboard here. Hey, how are you today? Okay, you also got swipe, go home, long press on the home button. Now you got the, or excuse me, long pressing will get you, uh, long pressing will get you Google now. But if you double tap, you get your multitasking screen. Now you can see the icons are bigger and you can see it actually tells you what they are. Display settings, internet, so you can just swipe them away like that. Very easy. Close out of them, go back home. Let's check out the camera. All right, HTC got some flack for their camera for ultra pixel, but I'm a fan of the camera. I think the quality is good. Quick to take pictures. You can see the uh, burst shot mode, and you could choose best shot, or you could just delete them all. Uh, you got Zoe, of course. You also have the ability to change features right here from the three button menu. Um, you can see video quality. If I was to go to video, you can see video quality. You could pinch in, pinch out, take pictures as you're recording. Okay. And it's, it's, it's easy to use. I'm a fan of HTC's camera here. You have filters as well. So if you click on the filters, you got fisheye, all these other cool filters. And you can see the effects and how the pictures look. And the quality is not bad. I mean, it's good for what it's worth. Um, it's pretty good quality. It's a good quality camera. I'm a fan of it. Not everyone's a fan, but I am a fan. You can also adjust the uh, home button in terms of swiping up to see what you get. You get Google Now here. That's set by default. But if you were to go to settings, you can set that up. Um, you can adjust that. You have a multitude of settings, very easy to use. Again, hasn't changed much from previous iterations. Now, if you want to enable, um, if you want to enable developer options, what you could do <clears throat> is go to, I believe it's, there we go. Click, keep clicking on build number and you are now a developer. You have developer options. 
So you can adjust the developer options and do what you like, change animation speeds, USB debugging and all that good stuff as well. So really the system hasn't changed much. You still have the same notification, uh, or excuse me, you have the same uh, app drawer here. Uh, you could do it custom, alphabetical, most recent. You can also set up folders in the app drawer. Uh, you can gr change the grid size here, do 4x5, which is what I prefer. So everything is fast. Of course, you have your quick settings panel as well, which you could adjust and customize. So everything is fast. It's fluid. It's a great system. We're fans of it. Um, again, HTC hasn't changed much from 4.3. Uh, which sends 5.5 to 4.4.2, it just feels more refined. Of course, you have Google Now, which is some, one of our you know, favorite features on Android, period. We love Google Now. And overall, it's just a solid system. Big fans of HTC Sense, Sense 5.5 is no exception. Um, you can see here everything, again, is fast and fluid and smooth. And there's a lot of different features that we didn't cover. You also have the IR Blaster with the remote control. A lot of great features here that you get with Sense 5.5. Uh, just the ability to, um, in my opinion, just the ability to remove blink feed has made a lot of people happy. You could hear the sounds are a little bit different. You auto's, auto focus. Um, of course, you have all these cool features on the camera. So, great, great update. Uh, it's incremental. It's not that big. You're not going to get too crazy of a difference here with the update. But, you know, the the... For what it's worth, it's it's a solid update. And if you guys haven't already updated to 4.4.2, look into doing it either OTA or uh, you can just go ahead and flash the custom ROM or do it manually if you're into rooting and all that so good stuff. So we're fans. Definitely approve 4.4.2. If you haven't already updated, go ahead and update. Otherwise, you guys are watching Technability. We are your source for no-nonsense tech. This is the HTC One, an absolutely gorgeous handset. Definitely recommend it if you're still in the market or if you're in the market right now for a smartphone. The HTC One should definitely be looked at. However, with that said, you got the M8, which is the One Two coming out soon. The S5, so there's a lot of competition. Big fans of the HTC One. Thank you guys for watching Technability. I am Barrage. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow us on Google+. Twitter and all that good stuff as well. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a nice day.